Selbst. Uh. My uh, pegboard is completely changing. I got my Ryobi Rebel sticker up there. A fan, uh, Greg, sent me a magnetic tray, which I think he keeps on seeing in my videos. I keep dropping stuff, so he put some custom stickers for that. My friend, uh, my friend Mike gave me the Ryobi knife, which this thing is awesome. I love that. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you so much. Here on out, that's Ryobi. From here on out, this is going to be DeWalt. As you can see, I got DeWalt chargers up. This is going to be Mc uh, Milwaukee. This is going to be Makita. I'm going to have to re. I'm going to have to reorganize this. So uh, I'm going to add more pegboard. Bring the pegboard as far as I need to go. So yes, I am developing my all the brands, and I'm going to have each brand of bits right here so when we use a tool if I use DeWalt we're gonna use DeWalt bits so yeah but it's supposed to snow tonight so I'm actually gonna have to uh, put the lawnmower away in a future video and whip out the snowblower so but today what we're gonna do is we are going to test out that DeWalt battery to Ryobi tool adapter now I saw this I had to get it since I was going to get DeWalt tools and I am completely curious if a DeWalt battery will perform better in a Ryobi than a Ryobi battery would. I am completely curious if, if that will work. And I did test this out. It does work. It does operate. But the question is, is will this operate better than a Ryobi HP battery would? We're going to find that out in the future, but right now we're just going to test out to see if the battery is capable of performing simple tasks. We're going to do stress test videos later. So, but for right now, what we're going to use, we're going to use the Ryobi Black Friday drill. So we're going to find out if a DeWalt battery actually performs better in a Ryobi than a Ryobi battery would. Now I do not have a 2 amp hour battery, so we're just going to use a 1.5 of a 0.5 difference in the same type of cells are not going to be a big difference. But we're just going to see if it performs better really quick. Now so I'm not going to do the hardcore test just yet. And by the way, we're going to test all these out, all the Ryobi tools. We're going to test them one at a time to see if the DeWalt battery performs better than the Ryobi HP battery. Oh, we're going to see what happens. So we're going to grab the 4x4 and go right there right now. Alrighty, fantastic. So my memory card glitched out. Luckily, I do have other DeWalt batteries. I got the one charging. Am I? Yes, I am. Full charge. DeWalt in the Ryobi. Uh, just so you guys know, this is the Ryobi uh, Black Friday drill that they have, which it should be brushless. All right, remember, we're not testing out the tool. We're testing out the battery in the tool, so the tool does not matter. I, I could use a blue one right now for all that matters. All right, so we're going to ignore these two because the memory card, I guess I forgot to push record. One and one eighth uh, spade bit. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. Had to get past that last centimeter. All right, we are gonna do one more. All right, so three, two, one, go. It was 
through. It was through. It was just, it was stuck like that. It was through. All right, so we got the one inch. There we go. All right, so three, two, one, go. That one, it was through. Perfect. All right, we are at two bars still. All right, so three, two, one, go. Alrighty. Up, oh, went back up to two. We're gonna give that a rest. 1.5 amp hour battery. Alright, so we are good to go. So three, two, we're gonna do two holes. Alright, so three, two, one, go. Cool this off really quick. Cool the tool off. Battery life, we are at 75%. Alright, so three, two, one, go. That is through. Doesn't matter what the circumstances are. If I had to do that to uh, get it through, that's added to the time. All right, so three, two, one inch spade. Setting two on drill. Three, two, one. There we go. Alright, so one more. Alright, so three, two. Alright, so three, two, one, go. All right, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten holes so far with the new Black Friday drill. Let's actually really quick look at the measure. I look at the temperature. 104 degrees. 108 degrees. 108 degrees. To ten drill, ten holes, uh, and it got that hot. This drill isn't looking so good. And this is the Black Friday special drill. It's brushed. Uh, I'm not really liking this too much. Now the the impact impact I love. The impact's awesome. But the drill, eh, I think this is the one I've been using. All right, so we got the Dewalt battery in there. Full charge. All right, so we're gonna do five holes. Oh, this, this is warm. Let's actually cool this down a little bit. That is good enough. All right, so three. Actually, I'm going to put this battery. I'm 
that one. All right, so three, two, one. It's uh, speed two, it's on drill. So three, two, one. That's five. All right, battery is down to two bars. All right, got a fresh, got a fresh 1.5 amp hour battery. Bat, uh, battery's at four. All right, so three, two, one, go. Ooh, I can I can feel that heat just coming out of that drill. Does that feel? Ooh, the drill. Look at that. Look at that. Does it have what it takes to keep on going? Still smoking. It still works. All right, this is the last drill it has to do. It. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the last hole. Can it do the last hole? Let's see. Yes, it can. All right, this was smoking big time. 120, 122 degrees that got. So obviously the DeWalt batteries function in the Ryobi tool, but in the future we are going to do major testings between the 6 amp hour battery Flex versus the 6 amp hour battery HP with the adapter. Now this adapter is actually pretty awesome because it does come with a USB uh, port on the back so you just could put your uh, the DeWalt battery in and charge your phone. You know, it only comes, it's not a converter, it's just a USB port. So that's, it's, an, it's a cool feature to have. I'll put the link for the, for the adapter in the, in the description below. But this thing is cool. Uh, I do love that I'm going, I'm getting into other brands other than Ryobi. Now, I'm going to give a quick, this is going to be a, a double, uh, a double episode. I'm going to give a review on this drill. This drill sucks. It's, it's extremely handy if you're doing extremely easy tasks. This, uh, this combo kit is half awesome. Now this impact is amazing. This drill sucks. Now when I was doing the one, uh, one and one eighth spade bit test, the clamshell was actually separating. And that's because the motor inside was pushing against, against itself and separating the clamshell. And now this is, ex this is still extremely hot. 117 degrees inside. It still works. Still works. It just smells like a hot motor. It does not smell like it's burning, but it's smoked. And it's like, if why did they make, uh, why did they even bother to make uh, the brushless, uh, the brushed stuff? I had to get something because is it's like why get this drill if they make a more powerful drill and brushless? It's like this is brand new just came out they already have a regular brushless drill it's like why even bother this adapter works big time the future of what is coming we are gonna test the crap out of this 
and all the other tools and just just do a chain of testings by this itself between the, the uh, HP battery and this and then we're gonna do this against the, like DeWalt battery against DeWalt I uh, this drill sucks I'm sorry you know I'm a Ryobi guy if I say a drill so a Ryobi tool sucks it it sucks if this thing smoked for doing that test this thing is not gonna last that much longer in my shop so yeah it doesn't smell like it's burning right now it just smells like a little hot tool but but yeah uh, I am gonna be hitting up some more Black Friday sales to get this pegboard filled up it's all winter long it's gonna be non-stop tests all winter long you know like uh, Makita uh, Milwaukee DeWalt Ryobi Rigid, they're all gonna just go head to head versus uh, between a good variety of tools and not just like a drill and impact. It's gonna be good, so please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Uh, this channel is not going anywhere. This channel is gonna stay and grow and get better. It really clips in there. So I'm actually totally curious what's gonna happen in the future with, with, the, with these tools. So that's pretty much it. It was a su successful day. We got a tool to smoke in here, which don't buy it. Uh, th this, if you could get this by itself, get it. I I, I praise this uh, this impact, but this this sucks. This sucks. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.